Okay, I have a quite a simple review this time. It's for Typito. I think I'm saying that right. It is a program on Mac to use your MacBook keyboard as a wireless keyboard for various devices such as iPads, iPhones, Android phones or tablets, game consoles except PS3 and 4 unfortunately, and your Apple TV box. Okay, now as you see it's a very simple interface. It sits down here as a dock icon or up here in the menu bar. You can select your devices once you have them set up. You can view preferences, check for update, help or quit. Let's have a look at preferences. You can set up a paste text to device shortcut. You can turn on sound effects in the interface. You can place the icon in the dock which is here and we probably don't need it there so we can turn it off and then it disappears. We can open this program at login, so when you boot up your computer, do you want it to automatically open this program? And privacy, send anonymous usage statistics to the company to help them improve the program. Some people don't, don't like that feature. Uh, they don't really, they think it's sort of an invasion of privacy or whatever, even though it's anonymous, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever your reason, you can turn it off if you want. I personally don't mind about that, so I leave those sort of things on. We have theme, so dark or light theme, and we have devices so when it picks up a new device Bluetooth device it will say pair and you'll click it and it will show up in this list and we can give it a name such as this one we can call an Apple TV 4 because it's a fourth generation Apple TV box not third or whatever and as you can see it's updated the name here we can give it a shortcut so even while this open we can press whatever shortcut we set up I uh, can't remember if I did it here yes here I have set up an I a shortcut to open up typing on the iPad third generation of mine I press option command I and it will start bringing up a typing it basically puts typedo into typing mode uh, for that particular device and then if you had a different shortcut here it would open it up ready to be typing on the Apple TV instead we can also forget it here if we no longer using it or whatever. We can remove it from the list by typing forget on whichever device it is you're using. We can hit connect, uh, how to connect. And here it tells you a bit about how you do it. You go to your Bluetooth settings on your Mac and pair your device. So it will show up in the Bluetooth settings. Then you can hit connect and you hit connect on the device such as your iPhone or Apple TV or whatever. And pair it is quite straightforward, especially if you're used to pairing Bluetooth devices. And let's have a quick look. At Bluetooth settings on your Mac. You go to Bluetooth in the system preferences, make sure it's turned on, then you find the device, wait for it to be picked up. In the case of Apple TV it will show up as Apple TV and TV Bluetooth. You want Apple TV but what I found is TV Bluetooth shows up first. You might have to wait a minute for it to pick this up and you might have to wait a minute for your MacBook to be picked up in the settings on the Apple TV box. And then when it is, you hit pair on both, both on the Mac and on the device to set it up and it's ready to go. Now, if you look currently, it might have changed by the time you are watching this, but if you go to the website now for this program, it will say it supports Apple TV except the new fourth generation Apple TV. Now, that is because when the Apple TV 4 first came out, it didn't have Bluetooth keyboard support, even though the older models did. Well, as long as you set up uh, update your Apple TV 4 to the latest system software, free system software, which is tvOS version 9.2. You can use it, and I have tried it. I have tried Torpedo using the fourth gen Apple TV box, and it works. So as long as your software is up to date and you're using at least 9.2 on the Apple TV box, it does actually work, contrary to what it says on their website. They just haven't updated their website since that update's come out, I think. So basically, you click here then click pair on macbook pro or whatever it's labeled as on system preferences and bluetooth system preferences on the apple tv box and you're good to go then when you open let me just close this out of the way then when you open torpedo it'll automatically recognize that in system preferences on your mac you've added this new device that it's compatible with and it'll say do you want a pair you hit pair and you're pretty much good to go then you can rename it if you want like we did here or whatever then when you are ready to start typing on the device well first start you make sure your device is turned on and ready to go and all that you either go up here 
and select the device name and it will put it in typing mode for that particular device and you're good to go or if you set up a keyboard shortcut you press that on your keyboard and it enters that mode now in a minute I'll show you what I mean by that mode it'll come up with a little box on your screen it kinda like when you press say volume down this box that shows up for volume up and down it'll be a little box kind of like that and it will say the device name such as Apple TV 4 or Williams iPad 3 whatever it's called and it will have a little symbol like one of those cursor icons when you're typing in a word pad that blinks and that will tell you it's ready to go then you start typing on your keyboard and that icon will change to three uh, sort of uh, bubbling dots or however you want to describe it to show that you're in the middle of typing and it will be typing on that device in a minute I'll cut away to a screenshot of the Apple TV showing you that working and I'll show you what I mean about the icon on the screen at the same time. Okay, so what do I think of this? Well, it's nice, cheap price. Some programs, even though they do a basic job like this, they might cost $30 or £30, whatever. But this, at least currently, is $3.99. It's about £4 in the UK and about $5 in the US. So it's not going to be too expensive. And it's very handy. Personally, I think its biggest use is probably to use your Mac keyboard on a game console or on an Apple TV box because if you are using a tablet there's a chance that you're going to use other methods either you got to by now already have a wireless keyboard for it or you have one of those cases those covers or sleeves that you put the tablet on and it has a little built-in keyboard or whatever so there's a good chance if you're looking at use uh, using this on a tablet or whatever you might ha already have another setup for that but where this I think would come in quite useful is on things like the Apple TV box to type things in quickly like if you want to search iTunes movie store or TV store for your movie that you're looking for or whatever uh, it will make it so much quicker or if you are using the YouTube app on Apple TV box it can be a little bit time consuming scrolling left to a letter then all the way to the right to the letter and then if you make a mistake you might have to scroll all the way to the right to hit the delete symbol then all the way back to the letter you want then all the way to the left for a space etc and it can take a little bit of time to type on the Apple TV box using the standard remote control so this will save you a lot of time if you're using this keyboard and yes you could use say an Apple wireless keyboard or something like that but this will save you money. You're paying like $5 for this program so you can use a Mac Pro keyboard instead of having to buy a dedicated keyboard. So if you want to save money on buying a keyboard, this will allow you to use your MacBook Pro or MacBook keyboard 
with your device such as your Apple TV box so it's very handy a way of typing on those sort of devices I do recommend it it doesn't cost much and it's really quick and easy to set up there is a demo available and I always recommend that my viewers check out a demo first so you can try it out for yourself and also make sure it works on your device you plan on using it for so a link will be in the description uh, please like and comment on this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my youtube channel as it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks